Amazon shares closed at their fifth straight record high. A bullish analyst note helped fuel the gains today. Stock above $900. But Amazon, which is the king of online retailing, is doing something curious. It's moving into brick and mortar retail, the very thing it disrupted. Deidre Bosa has more from Seattle. It was once an area dominated by the likes of Borders and Barnes and & Noble until Amazon showed up. Now Barnes & Noble is struggling and Borders is gone. But then something strange happened. Amazon is trying to reinvent the very thing it disrupted, brick and mortar retail. Amazon Books in Seattle was the company's first physical store and it opened less than two years ago. This year its physical bookstores are expected to be in 11 locations throughout the country. On the surface, it looks like your typical bookstore, but with titles face out and gadgets like Amazon's Kindle and Echo and Fire TV devices showcased around the space, with the likely goal of encouraging customers to join its online Prime membership program. And then there's the push for its grocery store business, with the goal of getting rid of the checkout counter. It is another technological leap that would dramatically change the way we shop by eliminating the cashier. It's pretty cool. You just walk in and pick it up and go <laughs> walk out the door. They already have those sort of self-checkout things, right? So it's just next step. I tend to just enjoy whatever is convenient. So I'm happy to go to a grocery store. And if it's an automated process where they're going to put groceries in my car, that seems quick and easy. And a lot of time, that's better for me. For now, brick and mortar is mostly still an experiment and a tiny part of Amazon's overall business. But it may be part of Jeff Bezos' strategy to revolutionize the retail business again. And expansion is a byproduct of that. Last year, Amazon took over a staggering 70% of all the new downtown Seattle office space that opened and continued construction on giant biospheres for its new campus in the heart of downtown Seattle. This year, it's inked a lease for another 300,000 square foot office building. It's becoming clear Amazon wants to be in every aspect of consumers' life, and that also means leaving a mark on its hometown. For a Nightly Business Report, I'm Deirdre Boza, Seattle.